Hi students, uh, this is Mr. Bickford bringing you chapter four, lesson one, uh, brand new chapter. And the first lesson in chapter four is called Estimate the Products of Fractions. So uh, a couple things when I look at the title of this lesson. Estimate uh, means to me that we're not gonna be solving exact, we're getting an idea, getting close. Products, that makes me think answer to a multiplying problem. So I would just put uh, multiplying above that to show my thinking that that's answers to a multiplying problem. And then fractions, we're looking at different kinds of fractions, multiplying um, different varieties of fractions today. Uh, the first example is come up with an estimate for two-fifths of 11. So this first example is a fraction of a whole number. I'm going to write that right here. Fraction of fraction of a whole number. You've got two fifths, that's the fraction of 11 whole number 11. Uh, this first example I think is the trickiest one of the day uh, so you may need to back it up and watch this one again uh, but this is your strategy. So I'm gonna rewrite my problem right here two-fifths of 11 and I know that uh, fifths means I'm going to divide something into five equal parts, and my denominator tells me that. Uh, and to get an estimate, what we're going to do is we're going to look at that five, denominator of five, and we are going to change the 11. We are going to find the closest multiple of 5, the closest multiple of 5 that we can get uh, to 11. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Find, uh, find the closest multiple. of 5 to 11. So for this strategy, fraction of a whole number, you look at your denominator and you're going to find the closest multiple of your denominator that you can get to this number right here. Here's what that means. I skip count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20. Those are multiples of 5. So I want to know how close can we get, skip counting by fives, to 11. So let me do that again. Skip count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. What's the closest number that we can get to 11 is 10. So I'm going to change this to a 10. And now I'm going to find this problem, 2 fifths of 10. And to do that, I'm going to actually build a model. So I'm going to build a model over here, and it's going to be a bar model. Uh, but this 5 means that I need my bar divided into 5 equal parts. So I'm going to do that. So there's my 5 parts right there. One, two, three, four, five. Two fifths, and this bar represents a ten. Two fifths of ten. So I'm going to go like this to show that this bar represents a ten. If it were a full bar, it would represent ten. And now I'm trying to find, so it's zero here, a full bar would be ten. Well, now I'm trying to find two-fifths of this bar. And if you can tell, two-fifths, each one of these boxes is a fifth. I want 
two-fifths. So I want two of the bars. And I can also look at this bar and figure out, well, what is each box worth? If this is 10, the total is 10, and I've got five boxes, each bar, or I'm sorry, each box is worth a two. And I want two-fifths of ten. So this is what I am after, two-fifths of ten. And now I can tell that my answer is, or my estimate I should say, is my estimate is about four. So my estimate, two-fifths of eleven, my answer is it's going to be about four. My estimate. I keep saying answer. I should be using the word estimate. Okay, so this is your strategy for a fraction of a whole number. When you're doing your practice problems today and you've got a fraction of a whole number, this is what you're going to try. And again, look at your denominator. Skip count by your denominator. Get as close as you can to the whole number here. I... I Close as I could get was 10, and then I'm building a model for that. Two-fifths of 10. My bar represents 10. I divide it into five parts, and I want two-fifths of it. So my answer is 4. Estimate is 4. So I'm going to put a big yellow... Oh, there's Frank. Just going to put a big yellow highlighted box around this... So for today, when you see a fraction of a whole number example, this is what you're going to be trying. Okay, the next kind of example is this. How would you estimate five-eighths five -eighths times nine-tenths? And this estimate is a fraction of a fraction. We've got a fraction and a fraction. Up here we had fraction of a whole number. Here it's fraction of a fraction. So on your, on your practice problems today, if it's a fraction of a fraction, you're going to look at this part of your notes for, um, for guidance. Uh, okay. The strategy for fraction of a fraction. And I'm going to draw, I'm going to make, your, your strategy is this. You're going to round each fraction you're going to round each fraction using this. Is it closest to zero? Is it closest to a half, or is it closest to one? And I'm just going to do a little model up here. So a zero would be a pizza that looks like that, a half, and a whole. Okay, and a half, of course. So zero would be an empty pizza. A half would look like this, and a full pizza would look like that. So you're going to round each fraction to either a zero, if it's closest to zero, a half, if it's closest to half, and one, if it's closest to one. So now I'm going to look at my original problem. Five-eighths times nine-tenths. And I'm going to round each fraction on this model right here. Well, five-eighths. Think about 5 eighths, what that looks like in your head. It would have 8 slices in the entire pizza, and 5 would be filled in. 4 would be exactly half. So 5 is just one more than half. It's going to be somewhere about maybe right here. And it's going to be closest to a half. It's going to be about right there. So I am going to estimate this to be a half. It's close to a half. Going to do the same thing with 9 tenths. Put 9 tenths onto this model right here, 
you've got 10 slices of pizza and you have or 10 slices in the hole and you've got nine pieces so it's almost a full pizza it's gonna be over here somewhere nine tenths is it's probably about right here so I'm gonna round nine tenths to one that would be my estimate one half times one well anything times one is itself so my quick estimate for 5 eighths times 9 tenths would be about half. So on today's practice, when you have a fraction of a fraction, I'm going to put an orange box around this example. So on today's practice, when you have a fraction of a fraction, you're going to be using this strategy right here. Round each fraction to either 0, a half, or 1, whatever it's closest to. 0, a half, or 1. And then multiply with those estimates. Okay, the last example for today is how would you estimate... How would you estimate 14 and 7 eighths times 6 and an eighth? So this is a mixed number. Times a mixed number. So on today's practice, if you have a mixed number times a mixed number, this is going to be your strategy, this part of your notes. And what you're going to do is you're going to round, round to the nearest whole number, something that we've done before. 14 and 7 eighths, now I'm going to write my problem over here, 14 and 7 eighths times 6 and 1 eighth. So again, my thinking is 14 and 7 eighths, that's between 14 and 15. 7 eighths is almost a full pizza. So this mixed number, 14 and 7 eighths, it is closest to 15. 6 and 1 eighth. So 6 and 1 eighth is between 6 and 7. And 1 eighth is only one slice shaded in out of 8. So it's not very much of a pizza at all. And so this amount, 6 and 1 eighth, if I were estimating, I would say that that is closest to 6. So there is my estimate. 15 this is closest to a whole number 15. This mixed number is closest to 6. So my estimate would be 15 times 6. So my estimate would be about 90. Okay, so last color, last example color is pink. So if you have a mixed number multiplied by a mixed number, your strategy is round to the nearest whole number and then multiply with those whole numbers. So you've got three different, kind, three different examples, yellow, orange, and pink. Your guide as to which one you follow is what kind of a problem is it? If it's a fraction of a whole number, fraction of a whole number, you're looking here. If the problem is an estimate for a fraction of a fraction, a fraction times a fraction, you're looking here. If it is a mixed number times a mixed number, you are rounding to the nearest whole number, and you're looking here. That's it for uh, lesson one. Your hidden treasure today is solving this problem. Find the product of three 0.59 and 0 
and you may not use a calculator. You have to show all your work. Again, find the product 3.59 times 0 0.87. Uh, that's something that we did in the last chapter. Um, all right, that's it for lesson one. Uh, first lesson in chapter four. I will see you very soon for chapter four, lesson two.